What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have a box full of Epic Customs. So welcome everybody to My Damn Hauls episode number 33. We had episode 32 yesterday and we were talking about this box on that episode. Right here from Showstopper Custom Figs, we have six custom WWE figures in here. Some of the best paint apps I've ever seen on a WWE figure, on a figure alone. We got some accessories in here for the pig fed that I'm also very, very excited about. We can finally throw out some older stuff on the pig fed and it is just going to be incredible. MDT Money in the Bank has officially finished filming and and the editing process is underway. Hopefully that thing will be up by Saturday. That's what I'm shooting for. Saturday evening from 5 to 8 p.m. Somewhere in there. It should be uploaded. We're going to see though. If it's not uploaded on Saturday, it will be on Sunday, guys. But let's go ahead and get open this epic box of customs. So as you guys know, to get in the box, we got to go with the trusty knife. So let's get into this thing. Get! All right, guys, so let's get into this box right here. You know, we got to be careful. We got to be really solid and careful so we don't cut the customs. Um, but this thing's packed up tight, so let's see if we can get this hoe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that the box is open, we can reveal the flappage right here and should unfold like that. And Showstopper's really great. Um, if you ever order from him, he always packs his stuff up very nicely. I'm going to go ahead and cut this flap off. And there it goes. All right, now the flappage is gone. Uh, we got a lot of bubble, bubble wrap here. So I guess what I'm going to do is just take everything out one by one and show you guys. And sweet baby Lord God, this looks amazing. All right. All right, guys, so first up we have the Cena arms. And uh, this is just a bunch of leftover stuff that I sent him. So nothing of interest right here, but um, yeah, this will go back on my fodder and I'll get these customized eventually. Um, the first thing we got up, guys, is the updated Vindication Championship Belts and Money in the Bank briefcase. So let's go ahead and open these. So the first thing we got up, guys, is the Vindication Money in the Bank briefcase. Obviously, we weren't able to use this. You know, we had the Bullet Club version anyways. But who knows, man? Who knows if we'll ever have an official Vindication Money in the Bank? Let me know down in the comment section below if we should do an official Money in the Bank for Vindication on maybe like a regular episode of Vindication or something like that. So we have that. Looks beautiful. Outstanding work by Showstopper. Up next, we have the newly updated Tag Team Championships. Look at this right here, guys. These look amazing. And I'm not even a fan of the penny belts, but these titles right here make me like them. Um, I love the strap, the zebra print with yellow and blue. We also have the MDT Tag Team logos right there with the world in there fading to pink. That is freaking beautiful. Got the nice blue side plates. They say MDT on them. You can't really tell. Um, from here, but uh, it is there. It looks absolutely beautiful. Next up, we have the Iron Man Championship, and my goodness gracious, this freaking title belt looks so nasty now. Um, got the Iron Man logo on the plate there. Got the Vindication logos over here. It says Iron Man down here. And geez, man, this paint, Showstopper totally nailed this. You got MDT at the top right there, so good lord. Nice mid-card championship for Drew McIntyre. And then we have the Revolutionary Championship here with the yellow, blue, gold, and silver. Just looking so fantastic, man. I love this so much. That fist, um, the Miz is going to be very happy to have this around his waist on Vindication. Just beautiful looking piece. And then the main championship on Vindication is the MDT Elite Championship for Kenny Omega, the current champion. Looking fantastic. This is going to be awesome to replace my awful um, ones that I made myself. So you see it's embossed. It's like lifted right there. Just so precise and clean. Huge shout out to Showstopper for these amazing championship belts. But now let's get into the custom figures themselves. Alright guys, getting into the figures themselves, the first figure we have right here is this elite Chris Jericho in the early 2000s attire. I believe he wore this at the 01 Royal Rumble. You can see the beautiful paint apps of Showstopper Custom Figs. Joey totally nails this every single time. Look at that perfectly done attire. One of my favorite Chris Jericho attires of all time. This is actually a big nostalgia fact for me, guys. This this is just this reminds me of my childhood in wrestling right here. This is freaking beautiful. I love this so much. Thank you, Showstopper. We got the Jax head scan on there, and I think it works out beautifully. Let's move on to the next one. Next, we have another Chris Jericho from the same time period. Early 2000s look with the green X's on there on the side. Look how clean that is. My goodness gracious. Let's get a zoom in look look at that paint apps by showstopper custom fix so smooth so nice 
Uh, best painter in the game, hands down. I don't know how, like, he gets it so factory looking. It's just so clean and precise. No clumpage at all. So smooth. And in the head scan right here, you'll notice that we got the sideburns in there. This is actually an Elite 20 head scan with uh, Christian hair and a sculpted sideburns. That is just nice AF. The next Jericho that we have, guys, is this 2005 Jericho. And this is one of my favorite attires. If you see on the side right here, we got to get a zoom in shot again. Look how freaking beautiful this is, guys, in the pink and blue with that, like, shimmer to it. This actually is supposed to have glitter on it, but he just put silver paint. I think it works beautifully. He got that silhouette perfectly. The silver and black going through looks amazing. I love that shimmer that's over the blue right there. Good lord. And look at the symmetry. The symmetry to have it on, on the left side and the right side. That is just fantastic. Got the Y2J wristbands on there looking great as well. And Jesus lord, guys. This is Definitely one of my favorite Jerichos. Definitely one of my favorite figures in my collection. Now, look at this head scan as well. Very accurate to Jericho at that time. Got the beard on there, the short hair. And I can't remember which head scan we used. At least I don't know the series number, but I think it works perfectly. And Joey knocked this one out of the park as well. All right, guys, getting into the first custom that is not Chris Jericho, we have this Money in the Bank 2017 Dolph Ziggler. And when I saw this attire on television, when I saw that Dolph Ziggler wore this, I had to get this made into a figure, guys. Look at this right here. He's got the MDT zebra print going down in the silver and black. Hollywood heel decals on there. And I love this attire. I thought when he wore this, I had to definitely get it made, like I said before. Got the ponytail head scan on there. Got it colored. And I believe he sculpted that, if I'm not mistaken. So that is freaking amazing. And the hair color is perfect, in my opinion. So beautiful Dolph Ziggler to add to the shelf. Cannot wait to see what it looks like up next to the other ones. Next up, we have one of my favorite Ziggler attires ever, and it is this blue color. I love this attire so much, guys. I just think that blue really pops off. And uh, I love this head scan. This is actually some Shawn Michaels hair, and he uh, repainted it, obviously fit it to the Dolph Ziggler head scan. I think it works. You know, when, at the time he wore this attire, his hair was really thick and long, so I think it works out great. Um, here is the decals on there. It's got the long-haired skulls with the, uh, the sights behind there. Um, got Hollywood heel on the back there. And what's great about Showstopper, he already knows how I am. Uh, we talked about the first ever Ziggler he did for me. He sculpted these flaps on there, so he does it every single time now. I don't even have to tell him. He just does it, and that is just beautiful. Thank you so much, bro. Uh, just the best customizer in the game. It looks so factory-made. I don't know how he does it, but these figures, man, they look so beautiful. I cannot wait to see what the Zigglers look like all together. And the last Ziggler and custom that we picked up is this Fastlane 2018 I felt the same way about this one as I did the Money in the Bank. When I saw him walk out of Fastlane in this pink attire, I was like, yep, gotta have that one made. I love this so much. Got the Heel Crew uh, decals on there in this bright pink shiny attire. My goodness, I love this so much. Got the boot flaps again, and he did have to, uh, you know, hand sculpt this hair right here. And he had it, like, all braided a weird way on that night. So, uh, yeah, this this is a beautiful Ziggler, man. Let's go ahead and take a look at all of the customs lineup that we got here today. So here we have the entire custom haul all lined up, and I want to give another huge shout out and thank you to Showstopper Custom Figs, Joey from Showstopper Custom Figs, the best absolutely customizer in the game today. Thank you so much again, bro, for all of this work. Again, um, just some fantastic Zigglers to add to the Ziggler shelf. Got some fantastic Jerichos to add to the Jericho shelf. And um, I am so happy with this work. If you guys are thinking about going to Showstopper, I definitely recommend it. Um, he has great pricing. He has just great work. It's the best work in the game. So definitely, definitely go hit him up if you would like some custom work done. But that's going to do it for this episode of My Damn Hauls. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys. Turn on that bell for all notifications so you never miss an MDT upload. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. MDT Money in the Bank is almost here about a day or two away. So stay tuned for that and see you guys in the next video. Thank you.